pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Now, um, also going back to some of the questions we had in, in our previous shows, now, do you believe being a musician, is that a, addictive? Is it? Uh, is it a... Is it is it uh, addictive? Do you want to do more of it? And is all you want to do is do just be a musician and it takes most all your time, or 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 are you good with the balance with your life and music? No, no. Now I'm I do this for uh, for fun for um, uh, is uh, uh, only an experiment for me now and. I don't know if I uh, will be a musician when I grow up, but uh, I, for now I am, uh, I'm okay and I love what I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense too. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's just you feel, you feel the desire to, to try something else. And, um, and in this case for you, it's music. And that's if next year you want to try something else and not do music anymore, then maybe you'll do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, were you ever in a band with more than one people, or has it only been just you? No, uh, only, uh, only me. I do all... Uh, I, I'm one and only <laughs> in this project. <laughs> Because okay. it's not, it's not uh, easy to find uh, people or musician uh, serious, and uh, this uh, is my is my project, uh, and uh, is my is like my baby. Hmm. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I know how you feel about that. I I do my own music, and and I'm the only person that does that, and. I think if I had more than one person involved trying to move it in different directions, it might drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got any great questions for him, Spider? And in, 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 in um, the musician perspective, when uh, when you started doing doing music. Um, how did you get started? Was it were you were you very young when you decided you wanted to to start it up, or did you wait a quite a while? When when did the the urge move you to to music? But I started to <clears throat> uh, playing guitar when I was uh, fourteen, and uh, after one or two years, I. <clears throat> Uh, start to play my music in a, di- a different uh, band, but uh, every time uh, there was a problem uh, with some uh, sometimes with the singers, sometimes with the drummers, and uh, uh, I uh, uh, it's difficult to go uh, to go on. And uh, I decided to do everything uh, alone. Mm. Yeah, it it can be, it can definitely be difficult when uh, when other people don't share the same yeah. outlook that Fashion. you have. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. Yeah. Now, I got some questions in the chat room. I got Mrs. Spider, who is uh, Spider's uh, partner. As he said, she says, first, the Marco, uh, Mirko, sorry. I think it's <laughs> wonderful that you want to tell everyone's story with your, your with your instrumental music. So she is think that's, that's awesome. And um, Major, uh, Mar, one of our one of our volunteers is in the chat room. She goes, "Do you have any pictures or visuals that you that enter your imagination when you compose your music?" No, no, in visual, no. Uh, it's only about uh, the feeling, what I feel uh, inside, and 
it's, it's not, not visual. Uh, no, I I try to uh, I go in like in trance when I compose the music. And for me, it's important. Is the it's only the sound, uh, the vision, the visual is uh, coming back after. After. Okay. Oh, okay. And she also is asked, "Do you have any association, in certain type of music, with your people that you meet?" No, no, I don't understand. Um. Let's see how kind of. Here, I'll I'll, I'll okay. throw it at you. Okay. Um, when you when you hear different kinds of music, do yeah. you do you sometimes match that with certain types of people that you meet? Like if you know someone who's a friend of yours, do they match a certain kind of music in your mind? For uh, other uh, band, you think, or um, I don't, or my, my friend. Um, for either or, like it, it, let's say you you have an old friend that you meet and uh, and they remind you of a song or they remind you of of a certain mm-hmm. kind of music, and uh, or just if you meet random people on the street who might who might be friendly, do you associate them with certain kinds of music? No, no, it's uh, for a friend. No, it's uh, I think only. Like normal people, uh, like you said, in the street, uh, or uh, it's, it's, only, it's not only about people, uh, but I think also something different is about uh, feeling or uh, sentimental. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, with your music, do you do you do it all just re- recorded, or do you go to places and and play your music live for an audience? No, the, the, this uh, this uh, this EP, this instrumental song, uh, I only uh, recorded. Uh, I never play live, unfortunately. But the project starts only in February, and then oh, okay. uh, I think uh, it's uh, possible to play live, but it's not easy in Italy, uh, especially for instrumental music. If you do, uh, if you are, uh, are a cover band, uh, it's uh, easy, easy, or if you uh, play pop or pop rock is uh, easy to play live. My instrumental music is um, is not easy. I can understand that. You would need the right location and the right yeah. type of audience and, and the right kind of connection between your music and that audience. It, mm-hmm. You probably wouldn't just be able to go to just a random local place and, and play your music and, and have people connect to it necessarily you'd want to make sure that everything was all in a row so to speak yeah hmm. yeah but you have to think about uh, if you ask uh, in italian uh, you know Joseph Adriani uh, they uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> said who <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and then uh, it's not easy to uh, uh, share the instrumental music with other Hmm. True, yeah. true. Okay, so real quickly, we're going to go into a break, but right now I have your first song all called The Fate. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. It's The Fate. So tell us a little, uh, little about that particular song before I play it. Uh, the The Fate is, uh, uh, is about two words. The Fate and The Fate. Uh, this uh, this uh, talk about the story. Uh, this my story uh, to defeat the uh, uh, when the, uh, when your life go uh, wrong 
but uh, every time you can uh, defeat this uh, uh, the, this faith uh, that is uh, uh, not with you. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. You guys go. Here, here is Defe. two guest bands. First, hear from Australian pop rock band King George, followed by the hurdy-gurdy fusion folk of Dresden, Germany's Zerp. Catch Zerp and Shells at Fairy Worlds, September 2nd through 4th in North Plains, Oregon. Thanks for listening to Let's Talk About the Music. Well, that was some boring music. Spike! Come on, where's the Justin Bieber? Where's the Katy Perry? Where's the Fallout Boy? Noddle, you have witch powers. Turn him into a chipmunk and feed him to the owl outside. I will do no such thing. We're here to talk about our website. HomeCanineNeutering.com What? No! InvaderPet.com Where people can check out our comic strips or locate bookstores selling bookmarks with our comics on them. So, listeners, want to see comics of me, Noddle the Witch, my pets Kaylee Cat and Spike Beagle? Go to InvaderPet.com and check us out. Seriously, though, you guys really have a canine neutering website? Hey, everyone. Want to know how you can help Let's Talk About the Music stay on the air and earn some VIP privileges at the same time? Go to patreon.com slash ltatmradio to find out how you can get involved. That's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com. Let's Talk About the Music. Magical Things offers fantasy art for festival and everyday living. Featuring the fine arts and craft creations of Marjorie Delaney, 
on practical printed products such as journals, mugs, costuming, wearable art, formal wear, and accessories. We also carry a line of magical